All right, for uh, some common errors and tips and tricks, uh, one big issue that we had was is this button. It's like a two-stage, so you can just you can kind of feel it how it clicks twice. When you're logging into the machine, you want to push it till it just clicks the first time lightly, and then go through through this. And then the next common error is to make sure the e-stop, you just twist it and it should pop up. Sometimes that gets depressed. And the other thing to note is on the servo motors, if you're in teach or play, in order to operate the machine manually or by code, the green light must be on, not, blink, not just blinking, on. So you push servo ready, and then you give a light squeeze to the button on the back of the machine, and then this should stop flashing. That means that the servo is ready. As soon as you let go of the button, it starts. It goes off and starts flashing. That means it's not ready. So then you got to re-push the button to get it going. Back onto that when you're programming, it's best to keep this on as much as possible because sometimes the robot position will shift a little because the servo motors there's like brakes that'll release and grab and that allows the robot to do movement so when you're making a code and you're trying to do a tool um, there's some manuals and informational websites that tell you to go to play then you got to push shovel ready. Then you got to push cycle start to start the tool. Then you go back to teach and then start continue on with your programming. I find it better to stay and teach, keep your servos on, and go to the inform list and in and out. Either D out and then call what tool you want on, which you could see in a previous video, or control, and then call a sub program which turns that tool on or off. That's all I have.